Let's start with China Thanks, first, sir. because now the U.S. we're hearing could be doubling tariffs from 10 to 25 percent on 200 billion dollars of Chinese goods. How would that raise the cost for consumers and businesses here in the U.S.? Uh, I think this is, you know, there's no good news in those higher tariffs uh, for U.S. consumers and businesses. These are these are taxes on transactions. They will be passed along in product costs, and uh, it'll complicate the Fed's life. It'll have uh, detrimental impacts on near-term growth. What the administration believes is that this is going to be an effective tactic that will bring the Chinese to the table and get them to modify their behavior regarding protection of intellectual property and, and a variety of other complaints the, the administration has. Uh, that, that's a big trillion-dollar coin toss. I mean, I, I, no one really knows. It's the definition of brinksmanship in, in negotiation, and the downside risk is quite high. At least does it help the U.S. consumer that the tariffs so far have been focused on production goods over consumer goods? Right. Yeah, th there's been a clear strategy by the, the U.S. trade representative to target the, the Chinese tariffs on intermediates uh, to the extent that they show up in product costs. It takes longer and it's more disguised. But there aren't enough goods to have that happen. If they escalate to another $200 billion of imports, then the president's escalate, uh, you know, threatened at times to go all the way to $500 billion. So uh, that, that strategy has run its course. These are now going to be direct increases in consumer prices. Uh, and, and that's going to have very different ramifications than what we've seen so far. Doug, you referred to as brinksmanship. How close to the brink is China? Uh, what you've been talking about is from the U.S. side. What about the China side? Their economy is already slowing down. They're taking steps, it seems like, almost every day to make sure they keep it going. There have been estimates that already what was being talked about could reduce GDP growth by as much as a half a percentage point. Now we're talking about 25 percent tariffs. Is this really a threat to the Chinese economy? Uh, it's not good news for China. I think we've seen that in the data. Uh, it, it's, I think, a matter of speculation as to which side has a greater incentive to blink. If you're uh, the U.S., uh, it's well known that even the White House is divided amongst the advisors on whether this is the right course, so how firm will it be in, in pursuing this? Uh, on the flip side, China has some slowdown in its growth. It's going to have to switch to, to more domestic sources of demand growth. That's always been a challenge for the Chinese. However, they do have someone who's president for life and, and maybe is more capable of, of seeing this through. So, uh, as I said earlier, this is an enormous uh, uh, coin toss. No one really knows how it will play out, and the costs are quite high on both sides.